demonstrating. So demonstrating the demonstration process is massively important within coaching because it can be a way of an individual starting to understand how a coach or how a skill actually looks, how it comes together. I can explain something, but without the visual cues as to how things actually come together, it can be difficult for an individual to understand. So when demonstrating, we've got a lot of different things to consider. Same as how we mentioned last time, went through the observation funnel. So when demonstrated, we can do the same thing with the people we're actually coaching. I can give them a demonstration where I'm quiet, going through everything, and they've got the big picture. All they're looking at is everything that's kind of, kind of going on, how that move looks, and how it came together. For instance, if I go back to ferry gliding, I can do a ferry glide from one side of the river to the other, and back again, and get people to watch that. They're like, cool, that's great. You crossed the river and came back. That was, that was pretty cool. Um, and then I can frame it so I can give a few parameters to what they're actually looking. So this time, when I cross the river, what I'd like you to look for is what I'm doing with the angle of my boat. So they're really looking at what's happening with the boat as I'm crossing the flow from one side to the other. So I've started to bring in what they're actually looking for to gain that purpose or the key points for that skill to actually work. So we're starting off with our big picture, we're starting to bring them down to the detail that we want them to observe. What I find is a very useful, a powerful thing as well with the demonstration process is not always using myself to demonstrate. I could, we can have a bit of a warm up, we can have a bit of a play around with things and people are just doing different skills around the place. And I happen to notice that one person has done a very nice ferry glide. I was like, oh, can you, can you just show everyone, show everyone else that? So the demonstration, the modeling process is coming from within the group. For some groups, that can make things seem far more attainable. If I'm working with a youth group, for instance, and if it's me there doing all the skills and doing all the demonstration, they might think, oh yeah, of course you can do it. You've been paddling for so many years. You're twice the age of all of us. Um, of course you can make it look easy. Whereas if I can use one of the group to demonstrate that skill instead and to frame it again so we can bring it down to that detail that we're after, it can make the whole process, the whole skill far more attainable and much better for the individuals actually watching. So especially like when we're dealing with very different demographic groups to ourselves, it can make things a lot easier for them to actually understand and attain the information because it makes things seem that much easier because someone that's like them can do the skill rather than just us as a coach. So a few key things with the demonstration aspect. I like to start off with that holistic, that big picture. Frame things so I can say, okay, now I'm starting the demonstration or look at this aspect, focus on this one thing within the demonstration. I can repeat a demonstration as well. So they're getting that continuity, that consistency of how things look rather than a one-off snapshot. And if we can use others from within the group to demonstrate things, it can make the whole task seem a lot easier, simpler and straightforward than just us doing it as a coach. We could reinforce their learning by saying, oh, it was really good when they did this and back things up to assist with that understanding. But if we can use those different approaches when demonstrating or you get others to demonstrate, it can be very beneficial for the process of coaching. Hi, Rhys. Sorry. What, what do you think about actually um, talking through the demonstration after you've done a silent one, actually talking through the demonstration for people? I think it depends on the skill and, what, and what's going on. I like, I like the, the framing process and bringing things down um, and just say like, you know, to focus on one aspect. I could do that one aspect, that re repetition again silently, and then I could possibly speak through it. Um, just so you can see, okay, and now the paddle goes in, and now this happens, or now I'm lifting my leg. The things that they can't possibly see that's inside the kayak 
could be important to mention as they're happening. So yeah, so I think there's definitely a time and place, like, you know, we do a lot of times speak about silent demonstrations, but telling people what's happening when they can't see something is massively important. So they can put it together, they can place everything together. Um, and that's really good within that repetition of the demonstration. So if we're doing things a few times, I can add detail um, or I can subtract, subtract detail by getting to focus on one area only. Cool. Yeah, I was thinking about as well different learning types and also when you've got a sequence of actions that need to happen to make a whole and getting that sequence in people's mind, which they won't necessarily pick up by just watching. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, and it's that, that breaking down and the timing aspect, the language we're using again within there. Um, we could do, like I often use counting down and that, and that side of things or having some kind of rhythm in my head. Um, that I kind of explain to other people as well. Like um, I do use rhythm quite a lot within a lot of paddle sports. So like you know, canoeing is, as a key example, I think of um, lots of turns. So my inside pivot turn, for instance, has been a bit of a waltz. So I kind of got that, have that rhythm in my head and explain things in that kind of process for people. So when they start to do it, they can think, oh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, just trying to bring it all together. Um, so having that rhythm, having that sounding process, or now I'm changing the paddle across, look at how my hands are moving. Um, so I can focus things as they're happening as well. 